Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 25th of April 2023. I've just woken up. It's evening time here. Uh, it's kind of nearly bedtime. I've just woken up because I uh, fell asleep since my evening work was cancelled. Um, I hope that means I'm going to be able to sleep tonight though. I have a feeling I might be not be able to sleep. I'm going to be waking up in the night or something like that. Uh, anyway, that I'll find out by myself. Um, and uh, what's happening in the world? Joseph R. Biden has announced that he is going to run again for president. I wish Americans wouldn't spend so much of their time uh, campaigning. It's ridiculous amounts of time. I mean, it, we haven't even reached May of 23 yet, and their elections are at the end of 24, right? Ridiculous amounts of time, ridiculous amounts of money. They need to sort out their... Um, elector, ele um, their dem democratic processes really in America. It's a, it's, it's, it's dreadful. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. It, it really equates to democracy anyway. But anyway, uh, it kind of it does at least in part, of course. Certainly better than many other countries. Um, but it's uh, a long way from perfect. Let's put it like that. Um, I guess if Biden goes up against Trump, uh, Biden is guaranteed to win. But why is it? Why does he need to announce so early? It's just ridiculous. It's such a long time. Uh, seems to be uh, so much could happen in you know in a year in a year and a half, right? I mean, you know, he you can't deny his age, and we can't say that his age is a definite factor that will stop him from becoming president. But it's really not in his favor. Uh, this is a practical thing you know um, and there are lots of other younger people who are excellent and very good at campaigning and could probably um, uh, take on the job as leader anyway I, I don't know I'm kind of uh, in two minds about it but of course it doesn't affect me <laughs> directly uh, as I'm not American and have no vote or anything like that but of course it affects everyone in the world the uh, leader of the, um, um, uh, the USA president of the USA uh, affects everybody in the world. Perhaps we should all have a vote. <laughs> all right, let's get on with the game of uh, Sudoku. A much uh, easier topic to consider than the uh, intricacies of uh, American politics. Shall we start with sevens blocking as shown uh, on this pattern, in this pattern? Sevens blocking across here as well. That's going to give me sevens there. We have ones across here and across here and down here as well. So that's another useful uh, digit we've got. And we have ones up here and across here like this. So that's going to put ones into those squares there, blocking across here and up to the top there. That's going to put one there. Excuse the gaps in my mousing. I have gaps in my mousing career. Uh, we have one blocking here, one blocking here, one blocking here, and one blocking here. So that's the position of one. Uh, and then we have one up here, up here, and across here. So we'll get digit one there as well. Hmm. We have four and five in this column here, four and five in this column here, come on, and four and five across here. So we found a typical New York Times style, uh, um, um, what's the word, not strategy, I don't really know what the word is, um, um, well, whatever it is, <laughs> trick there, let's call it a trick, four and five in those squares there. What does it mean? Uh, well, we can see that the twos are down here in those squares. The threes, we don't know. The sixes, somewhere like over here. The eights, don't know. The nines, somewhere across there. And nines in those squares. So, I didn't get very much from value for money from my four and five hmm oh I was hoping it might do um, more than that but such is life uh, 
Um, there's too much to think about up there, I think, for the moment. Okay. I see nine blocking down here, up here, and across there, so that's going to give me a nine in that square. Uh, I think I've got something here. Uh, I think this is missing. <coughs> excuse me, two five six seven. <coughs> excuse me, two five six seven. Right. So the five and six uh, block these squares here. So the five and six must be in those squares out there, which is not going to get me anything. But the two and the seven have to go here. So the seven blocking up here puts the seven into that square there and two into that square there. Ah, now we can get something because, um, no. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Yes, a moment ago I said four and five were in these squares, right? So now we have the two blocking across here and two blocking down here. So that has to be a two there, doesn't it? Missing numbers across here are 2, 3, and 6, and we have 2 and 6 in the same column, so this has got to be a 3. Uh, we have seven up here, seven down here, so there's our seven. Seven across here and seven up here, so there's a seven. Seven up here, up here, and across the top two rows. So we got seven there as well. And that's the final digit seven, actually. We have 8 uh, blocking down these two columns. That puts an 8 here.
I think I'm going to um, hit the digits and uh, see if I can find something useful. Ones I already know are in these locations here, and twos I already know are in these squares here. So not much else to do there. Let's see what's going on with the threes now. Um, hmm. Threes are definitely a trick a tricky number for me at the moment. Um, not really sure what to consider about threes. Obviously we have the fours in these squares, as mentioned the four five here, right? Ah oh, look we've got fours up here, that's nice. Lucky I decided to click on the numbers one by one, so now I've seen something. Um, now we've got five and six blocking across here like this and we've actually got the five blocking up here so we can put the five here like this and now the six blocks across here like that that must be the six and so the missing numbers here well we've got two blocking up here so that'll be the two and this will be a three to finish now there's only one number down here I think that's a three Yep, and then we can finish this with a uh, six, I guess. Six blocking up here puts the six here, and we'll be left with uh, five, which blocks across here, five there, and the last number two places a three. Three across these rows, excuse me, hold the right key down, three down here, that puts the three there. We're just one number short up here. We are looking for six in that square. All right, that was considerable progress there, I think. We have three across here and three up here, so that's the location of three in that block. I think we'll go back to having a look at these just in case anything new's cropped up. Yep, certainly has. Two up here, two across here. There's the two, then two that way, this away, and down here means that that's the final digit. No, it's not the final digit, two. Oh, where is there one left? Oh, up here. Two up here, up here, and across there. There's That's the final two. Uh, what's happening with the threes? Mm, can't quite finish those yet. Fours. Five up here and across here. That puts the five into that square there. Ah, I've just remembered this was four and five, wasn't it? I've just, just, yeah, I've just recalled it. <laughs> okay, so now we have three blocking down here and three blocking down here. So that's our three to get there. And now we have three across here, across here, and down here. So we can place the final digit three there. Uh, we don't have five in the bottom row yet, but we have two intersecting fives down like that, so that'll put the five there. And 
we have five like this. So that's the final digit five. And of course, this is a four. We had four or five in those squares, didn't we? So now four is blocking across like this. This puts the four here. We have eight blocking across here like this. That's the location of eight, eight blocking back this away. There's the eight, eight blocking up here and eight across here. So there's our eight and eight blocking up there. Puts an eight here, eight across here like this and up here gives us an eight there. We're still looking for eight across here. So that's the Final digit eight. I think this is a four, if I remember rightly. Yes, four blocking up here. There's the four. And uh, to finish here is going to be a nine, I guess. Nine blocking down here. Here's the nine. Um, one more number here is a six. Six also blocks down here. That gives me a six in that square. Six blocks up here. That puts a six here. The missing number here is nine again. We also need a 9 up here. We have 9 blocking there. That puts the 9 into that square. The missing number here is a 1. We have 1 down or 1 up. Here's our 1. The missing number here is a 4. And the missing number here is a 6. That's our Los Angeles Times Expert Level Game for Tuesday. Is it only Tuesday? Feels much later than that. Feels like it's Thursday already. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay, I uh, hope to see you again uh, sometime tomorrow. Bye-bye.